Are you ready for the Mr. Clark Fitness Challenge? <sighs> Let's go! Welcome to episode six of Mr. Clark Physical Education from Home. Today we will be doing the Mr. Clark Fitness Challenge. We'll be focusing on three aspects of fitness today. The first one is muscular strength, which is our ability of our muscles to exert a force. Uh, the second aspect we'll be focusing on is agility, which is our ability to change direction quickly. The third aspect we're gonna work on today is speed endurance, which is our ability to move fast for a prolonged amount of time. Uh, just remember when it comes to physical fitness, it's not all about being the biggest, the strongest, the fastest. It's about working hard, doing the best you possibly can, and helping yourself become more physically and mentally healthy. Um, I will be setting up some challenges you know, during today's activities. Don't focus on them too much. All I want you to do is work hard, have fun, do the best you possibly can, and enjoy it while you do it. So, uh, we're going to do five different activities today. So let's get at it. Exercise number one is the paper towel army crawl. So what you're going to need is two small-ish pieces of paper towel. And that's it. What you're going to do, you're going to fold the piece of paper towel in half like this. You're going to fold the other piece of paper towel in half like this. You're then going to get in a push-up position with your feet on the pieces of paper towel. You then have to crawl without your knees touching the floor across a room. It's really going to work on your core, it's going to work on your shoulders, and a little bit on your forearms as well. Exercise number two is called the split squat, which focuses on our legs. Uh, let me give you a demonstration of how to properly do a split squat. So, when you do a split squat, you want to make sure of a couple things. You want your chest up, back nice and flat, keep that belly nice and tight. You're going to take a step forward with your front leg, take a step forward with your back leg. Now, you're going to lower your back leg. So your knee is close to the floor, you don't need to touch the floor, and that your front leg is flat to the floor. You want to keep your back nice and straight, your belly tight, you're going to come down so your front leg is flat, and then shoot right back up, come down, up, I'll do three more, three, four, five, and now I'm going to switch. So now my right leg comes forward, my left leg comes back. Back is nice and straight, chest is up, back leg comes down, one, two, three, four, and five. You can do eight to ten repetitions on each leg to challenge yourself. You can also put your back leg on a stair so that it's elevated, which makes it a little bit harder. Exercise number three is just a good old fashioned push up. When doing your standard push-up, you want to have your hands flat, a little bit wider than the shoulder width apart. You want to have your toes planted on the floor behind you. You want to have a nice straight back. So, hands shoulder width apart, no out of the way. You don't want your bum up and you don't want your bum down. You want your back nice and flat. We're going to do anywhere between five and ten repetitions. So, one, two. Three, four, five. If that's a little bit too challenging for you, you can also do a modified push up where you're pushing up off your knees instead of your toes. So, oh, heads up, baby. Come here. Yeah. So, you're now on your knees instead. Try and keep your back nice and flat. You come straight down, straight up. One, two, three. 
So for exercise number three, it is called an agility shuttle, where we're gonna be working on our agility. Agility is the ability to change direction quickly. So you're gonna put two pylons, or it can be, it doesn't have to be pylons, it can be two hats, it can be two sticks, it can be two of anything that you have around the house. You're gonna put them about 20 feet apart, and you're going to run back and forth between the pylons four times as quickly as possible. The key here is to stay low, pump your arms hard, and just go as fast as you possibly can. Let's give it a go. Get at me, Usain Bolt. The last challenge is the run around the house challenge. Uh, this will be focusing on our speed endurance. So speed is just simply getting from one point to another as quickly as possible. Endurance is your ability to do something for an extended period of time. So we will be running fast for a little bit longer than what you're used to. What's gonna happen, you're gonna start in your front yard and you're gonna run as quickly around your house as fast as possible and you're gonna do three complete laps. So you have to keep your top speed as long as you possibly can to get that time as quickly as possible. And I challenge you to beat Mr. Clark's time. Let's go. Look at my hair here. What's going on? Oh, jeez. Is that good enough? So that wraps up episode six, Mr. Clark's Fitness Challenge. I hope you all try the activities. I hope you enjoy it. Just remember, when it comes to fitness, it's not about how strong you are, how fast you are. It's about improving yourself, trying to do the best you possibly can, doing everything with the proper form, and enjoying the ride. So I know I was challenging you with times and stuff like that, but what I really want you to do is just focus on yourself, have fun, uh, enjoy trying to get more physically fit and more physically and mentally healthy as we do so. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. So continue to stay safe, stay healthy, keep being awesome, and I will see you for episode seven. Cheers.